toll or not to toll? That's the question. Tonight in Spanish Ford, people asking questions at the first of two Q&A sessions regarding the Mobile River Bridge project. A common theme, how the state plans on paying for it. News 5's Brianna Hollis has more from this evening's discussion. Tonight's meeting was twofold. The first hour was informal. People were walking around, taking a look at some images, giving us a better look at what that bridge would look like. And Al Dot reps were around to answer some questions. Then came the formal presentation and public comment. Speaker number three. Speaker number five. Speaker number eight. Bayway drivers taking their toll concerns from the road to the mic. People of this region are getting their fair share of state transportation dollars. Hospital maximum charge of six dollars is overly burdensome. If we don't toll the project, there's no project. This is a two billion dollar project, and ALDOT's annual operating budget for the whole state is about 1.3 billion. So is it only because this project costs significantly more than other projects? The cost is huge in relation to what we typically build. We've never built a project this big, I doubt we ever will again. So Aldot says making drivers pay a three to six dollar toll to take the Bayway is the only way to make this bridge a reality. It's been a long time coming. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What are your thoughts on the tolling? I don't believe in the tolls, but what it, if it takes that to get it going, it's needed. And so everybody knows the need for the project. You know, it's become on a regular basis where we have an incident at the tunnel that closes the bayway, all the traffic detours in the city. Still, people sounded off. I'll pay a toll, but I'm not going to pay for all those citizens of those other states to go back and forth to my state. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of tolls and fees to be considering and imposing. The tolls being discussed won't go into effect until 2025, and there is another meeting about this in Mobile on Thursday. And if you want to make a comment but don't want to speak in front of a crowd, you can also submit one electronically. We have directions regarding how to do that on our website, WKRG.com. Reporting in Spanish for Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.